How are you? I was speaking to my friend over the phone and also chatting with my friend Ravi. Shubha said, Hey, Nekala, shall we go for shopping? Oh yeah, I'm always ready. But where is my phone? My phone, my phone. Did you see my phone? Did you see my phone? Toastmasters and guests. Did you know where my phone was? <laughs> I worked in the software industry for nine years. I worked in the software company for four years and became a Ghazni. Then I landed up in the world's largest, greatest, and the loveliest of companies, Oracle. On a Friday morning, I came to the reception and found that the doors were not <coughs> opening. I forgot my ID card. I went and asked the security ma'am, ma'am, excuse me, can you give me an ID card? She gave me. On Monday morning, I came to the office and realized that the doors were not opening again. I forgot two ID cards this time, original card and the temporary card. I went and told the lady, excuse me madam, I forgot my ID card. She checked the registry and told, excuse me madam, you have two ID cards at home, original card and the temporary card. We can't give you another temporary card. Sorry, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Please. <coughs> no way, ma'am. Sorry. So, I went all the way to the, to the home in this brand new traffic for one and a half hours and brought home the two ID cards. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> I came because me to forget everything. <laughs> One year later, I got married. Normally, men are the people, persons, who forget everything. But in my case, my husband remembered everything. He was the person, he is the person who remembers everything. Birthday, wedding days, the first day when we met, the first day when we fought, everything. His memory is very good. But my, me my memory doesn't. Nine months later after my marriage, I was blessed with a baby girl, Viva. When she was seven months old, I took her in my arms and I went to a park. We were having the best moments in the park. We were enjoying a lot. Suddenly I started shouting, excuse me ma'am, will you find my daughter, Viva, 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 excuse me ma'am, Viva, seven months old, pink frog, will you find her, excuse me sir, seven months, girl, frog, pink, find, lost, excuse me madam, Viva, Viva, where are you? An old lady told me, Betty, Betty, are you searching for the baby in your arms? Oh yes, thank you madam, thank you madam. <laughs> My daughter was sarcastically smiling at me. <laughs> then later one day, my husband gave me a first gift after marriage, after two years of marriage. That is a bright, red, beautiful hero pleasure. I started commuting to my office this office for 10 minutes daily in Hero Pleasure. I was happily driving, but within one week, I lost one key. He was frustrated, but still, there is one more key, isn't it? I started using it. <coughs> and one day morning, I took my purse, and I put my purse into the back cabin and locked it. We can't open it. We can't open the scooters, you know it, right? When I was about to start the bike, I realized that I kept the key also inside my purse and locked it. Oh my god! I fumbled, I tumbled, I mumbled. My husband was not there. If I tell him, he will really shout at me. So, I went to a mechanic shop and I asked him, Anna, Anna, Gadi, ki, olegade, akitu, please, kill Mari. <laughs> Translation? Vaya, brother, I keep the car keys, oh, sorry, the bike keys in my bike. 
backstabbing. So please come and help me. He came with a big iron rod and broke open my bike. My heart broke. <laughs> Obviously, my husband's heart also broke into pieces. First gift to his wife. How would he feel? Frustrated with the saga of forgetting things in lost. Frustrated by this Gajni saga, I went to a doctor. Dr. Shetty, who is also a communication specialist. The doctor said, excuse me, Megla, it's okay to forget things. You know something? Anything which is used less, when anything which is used less becomes useless. You're not using your brain. That's when you forget things. Go use your brain. I guess even more puzzled. He said, Megla, join in Toastmasters Club like me. And that's how I ended up in a writer's club. One month after joining this club, I started taking various roles and took up officer roles like SAA and AP Public Relations. One year after joining this club, the ultimate thing happened. I took up AP Education role. This is the role where I use the brain to the maximum. I work day in and day out and slowly, session by session, day by day, week by week, I found some differences in the memory. Six months after working at UP Education, the president-elect called me and told me, nobody has nominated for the UP Education role. Nobody has dared to do it. So could you please do it again? I said, OK, let me do it. So one year after taking this role, he realized what happened to my brain. I can remember. The speech titles of a lot of people, I can remember the dress which I wore during his first speech. I can remember who laughs at me, who stares at me for the speeches. Beware <laughs> from Gazni to a person who can surprise everyone with the brain. It's because of taking Oritas. BP education role. I hope Ravi will be happy. <laughs> <laughs>